The ethics problems facing self-driving cars are really the same problems that we've been facing since before recorded human history. We're headed into a world that may seem a bit scary to some, where cars will be driving around without people controlling them. I say for some because not everyone is freaked out by this, but they probably will be once they see them roaming around the streets. The big question everybody's wondering is, how will the car decide who lives and who dies in a situation where an accident is imminent? But let's take a step back a bit and think about this in the broader context. Before we even think about answering who lives and who dies in a situation like this, we have to think about what is right and what is wrong. Now, the origin of these concepts dates back to before chronology. That's before we really started keeping time in human history. But basically, you have a couple schools of thought that play off each other to help us understand this problem. The first is consequentialism. And this you can think of as the phrase, the ends justify the means. Meaning that no matter which course of action you take, the right one is the one that ends in a positive outcome. This is important because remember, in our scenario, someone is gonna die in this accident. We're just not sure who is gonna be the one. So building on consequentialism, we have another ethical theory that developed stating that the best action is the one that maximizes utility. Utility is defined in various ways, usually in terms of well-being of sentient entities like humans. Jeremy Bentham, the founder of utilitarianism, described utility as the sum of all pleasure that results from an action, minus the suffering of anyone involved in that action. This is where things get interesting. If we believe that the right thing to do is to maximize utility, then in a situation where a fatal accident is imminent, somebody is gonna die in the situation, no way around it, then the right choice would be the one that results in the fewest fatalities. As Spock said, logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. So do you agree that maximizing utility or you know, saving the most lives in this situation is the right choice? If you were driving and you knew you were gonna be in a fatal crash, what would you do? Would you maximize utility by avoiding the people in the crosswalk and killing yourself and passengers in the process? If not, you're not alone. But if you believe in normative ethic theories, then your ego is really what's getting in the way here. So this problem isn't new and really doesn't matter if we're talking about a self-driven car or a human-driven one. The same moral dilemma still exists. What's right versus wrong? And that answer really isn't cut and dry. Philosophers have been arguing about this since the beginning of time, and we're still really not sure, depending on the situation, what's right versus wrong. MIT is doing a study on this using a tool they built called the Moral Machine. In this tool, they show you moral dilemmas, where a driverless car must choose between the lesser of two evils, such as killing two passengers or five pedestrians. You're the judge in this scenario, and in the end, they show you how your answers compare to others. What could possibly go wrong? All right, let's do it. Okay, uh, <laughs> so you have two cats up front and a dog <laughs> driving in the car and there are people, there's a kid and a, two doctors, I guess. So you either kill the doctors and kid or the animals. I guess I'm gonna go with the animals. Sorry guys, I love animals. Okay, so here's an interesting one. So you've got a self-driving car that can either <laughs> two old ladies and one old man or two old ladies and one old man. I, I don't get it. What's the difference? Uh, okay, I guess that's the same to me. Okay, so here you have people in the car and I don't know, a homeless guy and a bank robber or the people in the car. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, dogs or people? Man, you know, I'm gonna go with the dogs. Save the dogs this time. Three, wait, wait, there's a description. One criminal, one homeless person, two women. Oh man, let's get rid of the criminals and homeless people, I guess. Oh, three people or six people? See, this is this is the this is the question. You know, this is your utilitarian. Uh, let's go with the three people. Sorry, guys. Let's go this one. Uh, the baby, though, you got to save the baby. Why is it driving directly into it? Okay, we have kids driving now or parents. You know what, kids? Sorry, you shouldn't be driving. Okay, you've got an overweight man or a fit man. Three large men, one large woman, or two men, one female athlete, two male athletes. Let's go with the athletes, I don't know. One female athlete, one large woman. Oh, wait, 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 but there's there's a red light versus, yeah, because that makes sense. God, 
Wait, whoops. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Most saved character, most killed character. Oh my god, I killed the babies! Saving more lives does not matter less. Protecting passengers does not matter at all. Upholding the law. Pfft. Who cares? Those are just rules. Gender preference for females. Okay, I guess women, you know, are more important to our society than men. That's pretty obvious. Species. Who mans? What? Who mans? What the hell is that? Come on, MIT. Social value preference. Lower. Really? Okay. Hmm. There you have it. Yeah. Uh, that was depressing. If you'd like to give it a go, visit teslanomics.co slash moral machine and take the test for yourself. Uh, after you do, I'd love to hear what your results were and what you thought of it by leaving a comment down below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing by clicking the button down below and then the bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on anything. If you have an email address, which I know you do, go get on our email list at teslanomics.co and be sure not to miss any of the updates we have coming out each week. And remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.